We're going to look at a probability problem that we're going to solve using a Venn diagram. And the scenario is we've got a pack of 52 playing cards. We're going to select a card at random and we're asked to find uh, the probability of various scenarios. So we've got a uh, Venn diagram here. Uh, we can see we've got the sample space um, represented by this rectangle and within the sample space are all possible outcomes and there are 52 uh, possible outcomes when you draw a card at random and contained within this are uh, closed curves that represent uh, the event A that the card drawn is an ace and so there are four outcomes associated with this event um, the ace of spades, the ace of clubs, the ace of diamonds the ace of hearts. An event D uh, is represented by this closed curve here um, and that contains 13 outcomes because there are 13 cards uh, that are diamonds within the pack. Uh, what we're going to do is populate this uh, Venn diagram with uh, the uh, number of outcomes associated with each event. Um, so for each particular uh, area or space within this Venn diagram we'll, we'll write in the number of uh, outcomes associated with that space. Um, and that will help us uh, find the probabilities because where outcomes are equally likely and uh, drawing a card from a deck of cards uh, I'm as likely to draw out one card as another where all outcomes are equally likely we can use this rule. The probability is the number of outcomes in the event over the total number of outcomes. So we'll get on with it. Um, we'll populate uh, this Venn diagram with the number of outcomes associated with each space and it's always best to start from the middle out. Um, so this here uh, is the chances, uh, the number of outcomes that it is an ace and a diamond and there's only one outcome associated with this uh, event uh, that is the uh, ace of diamonds. We'll move on to this closed curve here and this is the event that an ace is drawn and there are four outcomes associated with that event. We've used one up here already so the balance is three so we've contained within this closed curve we've got our four outcomes this closed curve here, D, this representing the event that the uh, card drawn is a diamond. Uh, there are 13 diamonds in the pack. Uh, so this closed curve needs to contain the 13 outcomes. We've used one, so the balance is 12. And finally we've got this space here. Um, now, contained within this sample space must be all 52 outcomes. We've used 16 of them here, so that means the balance must be 36. And so that's the first step. Um, we've populated the Venn diagram uh, with all of the outcomes. So now we can move on uh, and find the probability using the rule. <coughs> the number of outcomes associated with an event divided by the total number of outcomes. So we're asked for the probability of A intersection D. In other words where A and D overlap. <coughs> and this is really <coughs> asking what the probability of getting uh, an ace and a diamond, so the ace of diamonds. And so we'll identify this uh, area which is here, that's the overlap between A and D, A intersection D. And so we'll use our rule, one outcome over a total of 52 outcomes. So it's 1 over 52 is the probability there. Um, now we'll look at uh, the second, uh, the probability A union D. Uh, and this in, in is asking what is the chances of uh, the card being either an ace or a diamond or an ace of diamonds and we can represent that with this area here. This is the union uh, of A and D. 
uh, and so we can see here we have 3, 4 and 12 to give us 16 outcomes out of 52 outcomes, that's the probability there. Um, the next probability uh, is asking us uh, not the event A. In other words, the probability that the card drawn is not an ace. Um, and that would uh, be represented by this area here. This is all of the area that isn't uh, associated with the event A. Uh, and so we can see that's 12 and 36 to give us a probability of 48 over 52. And uh, finally, uh, this last uh, probability you tried to find is one that might be tricky, um, or you might find tricky if you weren't using this Venn diagram, because it's asking the probability that the card drawn is not an ace and uh, a diamond. Um, so it's in terms of the Venn diagram and set notation it's where the area of not an ace and the area of a diamond overlap so we'll put in uh, shade in the not ace uh, part of the Venn diagram which is this area this is not ace and then separately we'll shade in uh, the event that it's a diamond and we want to see where they overlap. Now this can be tricky uh, to visualize so it's important you've got a method uh, for finding where they overlap um, and when you've got pen and paper the best thing to do is to shade in one color, shade in another color and then see where they uh, overlap. So I've shaded in uh, not a, now I'm going to shade in uh, the event diamond and I'm going to see uh, where they overlap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hatch the event D. And so I require the intersection and so I can see the only place uh, that these two things uh, are both uh, shaded and hatched is this area here because um, that's the only place where I've got both the shade and the hatch. So just to uh, emphasize that I'll shade it into uh, with a different color. Uh, let's say purple, see if this will work. Yeah, so we can see that's the uh, area there. And so you can see that's 12 out of 52. That's the probability there. Um, and that's it done. Of course, you can simplify uh, these fractions, and I'll leave uh, you to do that.